My name is John. I live off grid in the high desert of Arizona. I live as frugally and sustainably as possible. And today I'm going to castrate my male piglets. I'm alone, so I need to build a device to hold the piglets still while I castrate them. I have a pallet board here and I'm going to cut it into three equal pieces at ten and a half inches, which is just a little longer than the piglets will be. And I'll put a couple hinges on it and piece it together into three pieces that can fold up around the piglet. And I'll just take a piece of paracord and tie a bow around them and it'll hold them on their back. So I'll lay the piglet on its back here and just fold the sides up like so. It'll hold them in place and I'll be able to tie this piece of paracord around here gently, but enough to just keep them on their back. And that'll give me access. The screws came through a little bit on this side. So I'm gonna grab my grinder and just cut those little pieces off. Uh, and of course the pig will be laying inside here where it's just nice and smooth. While I'm working on the piglets, I'll have a little first aid kit here ready to go. I'll have some hemostats if I need them. Some, these are sutures. Uh, I've got a scalpel and I will use hydrogen peroxide as an antiseptic to clean them up beforehand and then I'll use wound coat uh, as an antiseptic when I'm finished. I have the counter here cleaned up pretty good and I just figure this might be a nice area so I can set them up, I can you know gently tie them into this and that way I can you know remove their testicles in a more calm matter than I would if I, you know, I, I could just hold the piglet up and do, you know, do the process, but it'd just be sloppy, I think. I have four females and three males for a total of seven piglets. My scalpel comes with disposable blades, so I just affixed a blade. And now I'm going to add hydrogen peroxide to a paper towel, so I'm all ready to go once I get the piglet set up. Okay. Piglets can be pretty loud, but once you get them secured, uh, they tend to calm down and this piglet was pretty quiet through the rest of the process. Sutures are not required, and I meant to get absorbable sutures, but I didn't, so I'll have to cut these out later. However, personally, it's just so simple to do that I would rather close up the wound on the piglet than leave it open for possible infection. I'm just cleaning up the piglet with hydrogen peroxide on a paper towel before I make the incisions. If you gently pinch behind the scrotum, you'll feel the testicles. And if you push it to the surface where it naturally will go, then you can gently cut through the skin and then really gently cut through the little sac that's still holding the testicle in and it'll pop out through the opening and you can pull it out. Rather than cutting off and leaving the ductus deferens inside the piglet, which is the tube connected to the testicle, it's recommended that you pull the entire tube out, leaving nothing behind, and it really shouldn't cause too much discomfort to the piglet. At this point I've made an opening in the skin and then I just have to cut the little sac open that's still holding the testicle inside. You'll kind of see it just pop out of the hole once it's ready.
they're pretty slippery so you really got to get your fingers in behind them and pinch it down or you might lose it like I did. Now I just have to repeat the process on the other side. I'm confident I could cut into the piglet faster and, and pull it out quicker, but because it seemed to be causing such little pain, I just wanted to be gentle and try to get it out without causing much pain to the piglet at all. Don't worry if that happened pretty quickly. You can rewatch the video as many times as you need to. The suture is really pretty easy if you just gently pinch the wound closed. It's just a slice. So you're going to put the needle into one end and pull it through and then go in the opposite way at the other end and pull it through and then just tie a knot. I'll put links below for all the items I used for the castration. I'll make sure to link you guys to absorbable sutures as well so you don't have to cut them out later like I will. Something else to keep in mind is you don't have to do all of these extra steps. Technically, you could pick up the piglet by its rear legs, pinch the, the testicles through the scrotum, slice it open and pull out the testicle, do the other one and put it back into the pen. Or at least you could, you know, soap and water before and afterward. But that's all, that's all you really need to do. These are just extra precautions. Finally, I'm just adding some wound coat spray, which is an antiseptic, and we're all set to go. Hopefully you found that helpful. It was my first time ever castrating piglets, and they're running around already as if nothing happened. If you'd like to learn more about my frugal off-grid homestead, check out my books below. How to build an off-grid homestead with next to nothing and two years homesteading off the grid alone if you're new to the channel please subscribe give me a thumbs up and if you got any questions leave a comment below i'll catch you guys on my next video